Hey everybody, Nevin here with Ben, uh, one of the co-founders at Bishop Games, yep. to talk about their project Lightfall, which is kind of a action puzzle platformer. Give me like a brief overview about it. Uh, what we like to say about Lightfall is that it's a platformer in which you control your home platform to create your home level design inside the levels. So that's basically it. That's a pretty good like overview based on like what I what I just played through, which was gorgeous and difficult, by the Thank way. You. What can you tell me about the beginnings of Lightfall and Bishop Games as a studio? Like, how did this all come together? Uh, actually, Bishop Games was the idea of uh, one of the co-founders, Matt, the artist. Um, he just finishes a uh, degree in art, and he wanted to start his own business. And so he met with an old programmer, David, and the two of them got together. And I'm a real, uh, I'm a childhood friend of Matt, and he just talked to me because he knew I was a gaming fanatic. And he said, do you want to start this whole thing? And I said, sure. And uh, so this is how this, the studio was founded. And as for Lightfall, uh, basically, we just wanted, we wanted two things. First of all, like I said, we wanted to create a platformer where you control your own platform. So, you know, you're allowed to create your own level design inside the level. But also, we wanted to switch the cliche in video games where, you know, darkness is bad and light is pure and, and you know, gentle. Because in Lightfall, everything that's bright and beautiful will probably kill you. So darkness is more of your ally because you're, you're in a world plunged into darkness. So that's the two main things that were behind Lightfall. Awesome. And that actually leads perfectly into my next question, which was I, I noticed that the, the brightness and the darkness dichotomy that you're talking about. Was there any specific reason other than breaking the cliche that you guys decided to do that? It's really interesting and is gorgeous. Um, yeah, there was another gameplay uh, reason because as, you, as you've tried it, we can go really fast in Lightfall. So having the things that can kill you bright will, you know, it really helps with the visibility of the game because you're going so fast. When you see bright spots, you say, oh, I have to dodge that. Even if you're going fast, you can dodge it, you can see it in time. So that was the gameplay reason why we decided to, to do that. That actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Like, that, that clicks, <laughs> that makes sense. So it's really unique for a puzzle platformer to let you create your own platforms like this. I think the only other game I know of that's done it was like Trine. Yeah, there's the Mage and Trine, yeah. Uh, the main thing was that at first, it, it really came naturally. Like, the, what you see now is like the 10th the iteration of the, of the mechanic itself. Like, at first, we had the, the cube spawn on a rail around the player and you had to stop it and then jump. So it wasn't really fast paced at all, actually. But we, you know, we, so obviously that iteration was terrible. So we went back to the drawing board numerous times until we got it right. So now we have it like uh, two years later, so. Two years to, to land on its, game dev's hard. Yeah. Game dev hard like that, I can't blame you. Something else that I noticed, um, there's a little pre-roll cutscene and there's a whole lot of lore that's kind of given to you. And it's all really interesting. How much exposure to that lore are we actually going to get throughout the game? We, we appeal, we want to appeal to everyone. Like the casual gamer that wants a story-driven game, we have that with the story mode, but also the hardcore Super Meat Boy fan. So we have the speedrun mode for him. So in the story mode, obviously, as you said, there's cinematics, in-game narration, and you really explore the lore, and you get more exposed to it as you find hidden collectibles. So in every level, to encourage exploration, we have hidden collectibles that when you bring them back to the checkpoint, you actually get uh, a memories of the first guy who discovered the, the world in which the adventure takes place. So you go back into his memories and like you just, it's basically his, his adventure. So you just go deeper into the lore this way. So it's just a mix of exploration and lore. So it's about the player picking and choosing and finding their balance and how they want to play and all this. Exactly. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, and we have we've briefly touched on the platforming mechanic and how players can make their own platforms, find their own routes. Have there been any instances where you've kind of had to go back and redesign an area because the ability to make your own platforms is just too strong? Um, yes and no, because the thing is that for the first two years we only had three levels. Okay. So when the mechanic was you know all all set and done. We only had to redesign the three levels to make sure everything was fine. And at some point, it was just with, with the mechanic in mind. When you started a new level, you just you know you knew the, the mechanic, so it came naturally to design it in like you don't only design it 
on the you know horizontal aspect, but also on the vertical one because you can go so high and so it. Be, it at, at first it was hard, but you know after a couple levels it just came naturally. Okay, cool. Um, there's also a semblance of combat in the game. You have the ability to shoot out a cube. Was is that a recent addition? Did you always want to have that in there, or did that kind of come up when you wanted to freshen things up? Uh, at first, we didn't have it, and we we were not sure if we wanted to have an attack uh, action. But the players uh, in you know different expos like packs and stuff like that, they they really wanted to smash you know the enemies with the cube. So at after a couple of expos, we just caved in and said, okay, we'll do it. Awesome. Could I have smacked those damn fish with the cube? The, fi the, the, the fish, the bats, and uh, yeah, pretty much every enemies. Oh, it made that so much easier. Yeah, <laughs> like the same uh, attack that breaks the blue crystals, right? Yes, that's so what So it's, I'm it's about. the same one, yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah. All right, that's actually, like, those are the big questions, the only real questions that I had. Thank you for your time. Okay. If people are interested in following this game, learning more about development, where can they go? Uh, you can uh, find us under the Bishop Games tag pretty much everywhere, like on the website, uh, Twitter, Facebook, you know, all that stuff. Also, we have the Lightfall page on Steam. Uh, you cannot buy it yet, but you can wish this it. So, if you yeah, want, yeah, get a heads up. exactly, yeah. All right, well, thank you again so much for your time. I hope you have a great thank packs. You. Thank you. You too.